Whoa, I can see myself. So weird, but so cool. Oh god, I hope I don't look at this the entire time. I'll try not to. I'll try. <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Happy 2019. Thank God. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. Kind of trying to change up my intro and outro just like a little bit, like nothing too crazy. The difference with me is that if you're new to my channel, I'm not going to say subscribe just yet because you don't know me and I don't want to force that down your throat. So that's what I'm trying to include in my intros because, I mean, I'm kind of used to it now because a lot of people do it, but if I'm just watching someone who I don't know and they say it a lot, then I'm not like talking about anyone in specific. That's just what I experienced over the past few years, but it's kind of a turn off for me if they're like forcing it down my throat and I don't even know them because then it makes me want to click out of the video super fast no matter like what they're doing and like if I'm interested in that topic or whatever. So I don't usually say that till the end because if you stick around that's awesome that will make my day but if you don't I can't force you. You know what I mean? Did I even introduce myself? My name's Jordan. Hi how are ya? <laughs> so today I decided to start off my first video instead of doing let's say resolutions or um, goals I decided to title it improvements for 2019 because honestly I never stick to resolutions I really don't that's just the reality of it I feel like most people don't and if you do that's awesome I'm not gonna lie I've always been not the best at sticking with habits so I called it improvements for 2019 because these are things that I can improve on instead of starting something like completely new some of them are kind of new but just things I want to improve on I either read that somewhere or I watched a video on it where it's better just to say I want to improve on this in the new year because if you make resolutions, it's honestly a 95% chance you may not even stick to them. That's why I came up with the idea of improvements for 2019. Originally, I did not even think of improvements. Well, maybe improvements, but at first like resolutions because I was just so busy during the holiday season with work and family visiting that it literally didn't even pop up in my mind. There are things that I wanted to improve in 2019, but at the same time, I can start anytime I want. I don't have to wait until the new year starts. I partied a little bit too hard on New Year's Eve and I was quite tired the past two days. Yesterday, January 2nd, it's January 3rd today, was not the best day and that's just life sometimes like my anxiety shot through the roof i was super stressed about everything and my pms hit me really hard and that's pretty much why i was super stressed and had a lot of anxiety but i woke up this morning feeling a hundred times better than i did i know not every day could be rainbows and sunshine but we can only strive to have better days and work on our attitudes. So without further ado, let's get into my improvements for 2019. Not everything is written down here. I was starting to think of things after I wrote this and I will continue to write on paper in the future, maybe every single day about more things that I want to improve on. And now I get it why people like have honestly some issues about trying to look at the camera and not the viewfinder because now I'm like, ooh, there's an object over here that's moving. I want to look at it. Yeah, life. I get distracted really easily. And I rant a lot. Something I need to work on, but I didn't <laughs> write down here. I made the improvement list so simple because if I went into too much detail with it, like I probably wouldn't go through it just being honest with you. There might be some things I might elaborate on praying that this is a short video. That's what I need to work on. I need to improve on making shorter videos because see a lot of people love long videos. I don't really mind long videos but also a lot of people like shorter videos. So like you know I don't know. So the first thing and this isn't like in order 
of what I need to do every single day. I already have a routine. It's kind of changing, but kind of plays into what I wrote down. So my first one that I wrote down is unless I'm working or I'm out somewhere, at least do my skincare by 9 p.m. Might change it to 10 p.m. It just depends, but most likely 9 p.m. I don't know when it, well actually I do know when it started because like I work nights. So when I'd get home, It'd be around 10 o'clock and then I'd get super, super lazy and just not do my skincare and take my makeup off from work until around 12 in the morning because I am literally wired after my shifts. Like, I am completely awake. I'll feel tired during my shifts, but once I'm driving home and I'm home, I stay up for hours. Like, it just happens. So, I need to work on doing my skincare by 9 p.m. at least. The second one is read a book. Start off with one, only read one at a time. So I have bought like a handful of books uh, between last spring and this past October 2018. Also been given some books too as gifts and I don't think I ever finished one. They're like kind of two improvements that tie into this. I used to read a lot when I was a child, like not as much as other people, but obviously in elementary school, like you had to read books and you had to read a certain amount during like a month or a week, whatever it was, depending on your school system. Then I was reading a lot, but once college started, nope. Unless it was required, I did read it. But I have a lot of books and a lot of them are being unread. Yeah, I have some books that I bought and I need to improve. I'm not trying to say habit because apparently my mind does not like the word habit. I'm trying to improve on reading in my spare time when I'm not editing or not watching YouTube videos and I need to start off with one book. And there's some that I started reading and I'm either in the beginning, the middle, or the end, and I haven't finished it, so I really need to do that. Really need to actually finish a book. To be honest, I don't remember the last time I did that. So the next one is stop being lazy. This ties into the first bullet of improvement. Doing the skincare really late in the night, I need to improve on not doing it so late and not being lazy. I don't know what it is, but I feel like I've been so lazy lately. I don't know if it's because of the holiday season or what. I really don't know, but I need to stop because I'm almost 23 years old, my lord. And I don't think lazy should be in anyone's vocabulary. I don't even know if that whole thing made sense, but I hope you get what I mean. Next bullet, film a video at least once a week and I put down, you better do it because I was pretty good at it during the summer and then I didn't even go back to school and I feel like I just like fell out of habit. But there's some videos that I filmed that just took a really long time to edit because I was doing it around my work schedule. And like sometimes if my mom has the day off, then I do things with her. Yeah, it just, it's different every time. I have not filmed in like three weeks maybe, but it feels like two months, honestly. I really need to do that. Something that kind of plays along into it is that I don't usually wear makeup unless I'm going out on errands, unless I'm going out on the weekend, which is like not that much <laughs> because a lot of my friends and I have conflicting schedules, so I don't always get to hang out with them. Like, if I'm working, they're free, and if they have school, I'm free. It's just very conflicting. I feel like whenever I do wear makeup, I just need to film it because sometimes I get my best eyeshadow looks when I'm not filming. I always like to try out eyeshadow looks before filming because I need to see if they work out or not. Sometimes, at least once or twice a month, I mess up on my eyeshadow. Sometimes I have to do it like one to three times again and I have to like remove it. So if I'm filming, I think that would really frustrate me. I haven't been doing it so much lately, but if I create a good eye look, I will take a picture of it and put it on my YouTube Instagram, my beauty Instagram. And that's how I'll remember that I need to film a video on whatever look it was. So the next one is devote more time to God. Something I've been working on for like multiple years in a row. I just wrote devote more time to God because I think if I was so specific, like I have been in the past, I mean, I talk to God on a daily basis, like multiple times per day, pretty much all day long. But... I've had some other resolutions in the past about devoting time to God. Didn't really continue with it. So as long as I put devote more time to God, I kind of know what I need to do. Like I have a God is good board on Pinterest and that's just how I like kind of connect and stuff. I know it's like not the ideal way, but that's how I roll. Like that's just what I like to do and I find a lot of inspiration in Bible scriptures and I feel like if there's any way that you can connect to God, then 
do it. Honestly, I'm not the best church goer. I need to improve on that. Sometimes I work Sundays, so I won't go, but I think I really need to go. I think in the past with me, it's hard for me to relate to a lot of, wow, it's getting dark again. It's really hard for me to relate to certain pastors. There are some pastors now at my church that I think I could relate to a little bit more, but there are some that aren't, and I think that's okay. Like, you can't relate to everyone. My next bullet is take walks around the neighborhood. I've been kind of wanting to do this for a while, but I'm always cold, aka why I'm wearing a sweatshirt. In like a waffle t-shirt underneath. Actually, it's a long sleeve because I'm that cold. In like jogger sweatpants. I'm always cold. There have been some like nicer days where I live, even though it's always cold in the winter. Even if it's by myself, I think I just need to go and take a walk. Even if it's a short walk, I know my neighborhood. So I kind of know like what points I want to stop and how far I want to go. And actually my friends Les and I were talking about this, how we want to take more walks in our neighborhood because we live in the same neighborhood. Like our houses aren't that far from each other. And so whether I take them with her, my mom or myself, I need to improve on doing that and actually go forth with it. The next bullet is don't beat yourself up for not working out every day, do it when you can. I know there's that thing like even if you don't want to work out, just force it. But sometimes when I force it, I honestly don't always have the best workout. I might feel like the teeniest, tiniest of better. But for the most part, I don't. Just how it's been sometimes. So I know like around the holiday season with work and family visiting, I really didn't work out a lot. I missed a week. <laughs> and that's kind of not normal for me. So I'm trying to get back into my toned in 90 days program But because I haven't done in a while the workouts are making me super super sore Which then the next few days I feel like I can't move when I'm not sore like today my legs from uh, The day before New Year's Eve are finally not sore so it's taken that long because there are more like vigorous workouts and that's what I needed in my life. What I was doing before was working for a bit and then it just like, I wasn't excited to work out anymore so I knew I needed to change. Then my next one is visit friends more often. As I mentioned before, a lot of my friends and I have conflicting schedules and a majority of them live in Massachusetts because that's where I went to college and a bunch of people who went to the college live in Massachusetts and they all live in like different parts. So when I have a chance, even though I'm always wicked tired after I visit people, like the day after and sometimes two days after, like just recently, I need to visit people because obviously we're not around each other every day anymore like we were in college, which makes me sad. But I mean, when they're free and I'm free, I think it's time to actually reach out to them. And then my other one is keep writing. I started writing more like my deeper writing thoughts on my regular Instagram. I was gonna do it my photography one and I'm kind of quick thing with photography. It's not like I'm stopping like doing and stuff, but I think I'm so interested in like so many different creative like subjects and stuff. I kind of want to keep J. Elizabeth photography but at the same time, I kind of want to change the photography part and use like some creative word because I'm really into design. I love painting, even though I have like barely done it. That's my next bullet is paint something. So I'm just going to say it now. And then I love writing. So I want to have like all my creative categories and subjects all on one account, but I don't know what I want to change the word to. And I haven't posted on my photography account in two months is real bad but I, I just needed a break and I also didn't really know what to post but I did a poll on there so now I know what to post but I'm, it's a matter of like organizing all the photos into like separate folders and stuff but yeah for writing I started sharing that on my main Instagram I mean I've gotten some feedback like good feedback so I don't do it every day I don't know how often I will do it it just depends how I'm feeling honestly and what I want to post now a lot of it is based on experiences from the past with love and friends and family and it's all a matter of like what I'm comfortable with posting because like if it's about one subject I don't want it to be like super obvious like I want it to have a little bit of mystery if that makes sense so I'm figuring it out so yeah my other bullet point was paint something I need to read photography books which I have over there up there and watch photography videos. I used to be really good at watching photography videos and then I just completely stopped. I think once I stopped posting on my photography Instagram, I just completely stopped watching photography videos. It was like just one of those things in life like you're so interested in something and then one day you're not so interested in some. If you watch YouTube videos 
like I do religiously, then you just automatically like stop watching them with or without a reason. That's kind of what happened. Like I just was not interested in watching anything. I just wanted to watch makeup and beauty and fashion, lifestyle, whatever, inspirational videos. That's kind of it. So I think I need to like force myself back into it. Something I need to improve on. That's pretty much all I wrote down. I know there are a couple things that I kind of just thought of on the spot and there will probably be way more things that I will think of, but I hope that the audio is 10 times better because I got the, it's from Best Buy, the Canon Video Creator Kit. So it came with the Canon EOS Rebel T7i with a Rode microphone, which I actually did want for Christmas um, before even finding this kit. And it came with a memory card and a camera strap. So that's pretty good. So hope it's like 10 times better. And I can like see myself too. I'm like, I've been really trying not to look at the viewfinder. I like realize how hard it is now. I like never realized it before. I'm like, how hard is it to like, you know, just look at your camera, but now I get it because I'm, I'm easily distracted. And it's also good because when I'm editing, sometimes like this ring light is too bright and I like don't even realize it because I had to do everything like before film and do like test shots. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up, subscribe. If you stuck around, that's awesome. If you didn't, you're not even gonna see this part, but I hope you did. So subscribe if you wanna subscribe and see more videos. If you're new and you subscribe, please comment down below a little bit about yourself just so I can get to know you because you already got to know me in this video and it would mean a lot if I got to know you. I want to actually have a connection with my subscribers because you're going to see a lot more of me so I want to actually have a connection with you and please request anything down below, whatever it is, comment it. <laughs> As you can see, I still need to work on my new outro. Ring the notification bell so you'll be notified when I upload right then and there. I hope you have a great day. Day and my neck just cracked. I'm like half in a weird mood, but not really. I'm just being myself. Like, why be fake on camera? I don't know. I'd rather just be myself. I'm more weird than boring. I like to think so. I'm like my best self when I'm on camera, really, though. It just personality just comes out. But in reality, I'm actually really shy. I'm not as shy as I used to be. But anyway, instead of me rambling, more. I'm hungry and also very random. Anyway, so yeah, I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Let's get it 2019!